Right, good morning everybody. Welcome along to Saturday. Yes, it's Saturday the 11th. Is it the 11th? Is it the 11th? No, she's not She's not talking to me this morning. We've had a row over this new bed. It finally turned up. And, wow, what can I say? No good. The front goes up, so I'm sat upright. But the feet that are meant to be upright like that, they're not. They're like that. No good. So it's going to have to go back. Waited all that time. Excited for it to turn up. Turned up about quarter to six. Yeah, I know. What a time of day to turn up. But uh, I don't know. What are we going to do? Well, we're up early this morning because we're off to Brighton. Oh, yes, to see Siobhan's godparents have some nice fish and chips along the seafront. Now, I was going to do some live videos from Brighton, but unfortunately, YouTube, in the infinite wisdom, do not let you go live if you've got less than a 1,000 viewers on your phone. You can do it on your PC, but I can't really strap the PC to my back and take it with me, can I? I'd look a bit peculiar than most people in Brighton do. So, um, apparently, I'm going to be doing some Facebook Lives and when you finish doing a Facebook Live, you can save them, then upload them to YouTube. So that's what I'm going to do. So you will still see today's uh, escapades in Brighton. Right, talking about Brighton, they've got some good takeaway places. Now, I, I, I particular, I used to like Chinese, but because of the uh, COVID-19 disease, um i don't trust them i don't know if it's me or not so i like a curry an indian do let me know in the comment box uh, comment box sorry your favorite uh, takeaway be it pizza chinese indian kebab our kebab oh terrible give you the deli belly you might as well have an indian now we've had the washing machine machine on this morning and as normal uh, we've opened the door, yeah, pulled out the washing from inside, and there's items missing, i.e. socks. Not one, but two socks, not from the same pair, different pairs. One was mine, and one was Siobhan's. Where did they go? It's not in the um, door frame, you know, the rubber bit. It's not in there. Is it actually behind the drum? And if so... How did it get there? Come on, I know some of you are technically minded. Please let me know, because I'd love to find out. One of those missing items things that you can never just put your finger on and think, oh, that's where it went. Well, we had a, uh, a fun night in the uh, Davidson household last night. Our poor cat, Tigger, was sick everywhere. Oh, my goodness. If it wasn't bad enough that Tracy had to sleep down on the sofa... Because obviously we had to get rid of our double bed to make room for this hospital type bed. But didn't much look like a hospital bed. I will show you in probably tomorrow's uh, video. Um, so unfortunately Tracy snores very loudly. So I spent most of the night in the kitchen. Uh, eventually Tracy got up. She said she was too hot. So we had a coffee and she had a tea. And she said, right, I'm going to go out with Siobhan so you can go and lay down. So I said, well, all right. So I went back in my chair. I sat down. I kid you not, half hour later, the cat was sick. That was it. We were up again. Oh, my goodness. So last night, I had about an hour, if an hour, sleep. Yeah, I wasn't functioning even with the coffee this morning. So at least Tigger's all right. There's no need to worry. Um... He's eating, drinking, he's done his number one and his number two, and he seems, seems quite con uh, content in himself, so that's good. I should have given him some of this. Right, I'm going to do a, uh, Gavin, I'm going to do a review. This is from Lidl's, okay, and it's probably one of the best drinks that I've had in a long time. It's uh, Mexican lime and elderflower soft sparkling carbonated water. It's 46p, and if you're a diabetic like me, it's ideal because it's got 0.4% fat and 0.5% carbohydrate, which you've got to keep a, uh, an, eye, an idea of what carbs you're actually intaking. So, all well and good. So, if you're in Lidl's, 
pick up a bottle. They do that. They do a, uh, a Morello cherry one and a tropical fruit twist, all with no sugar. So give it a go. Right, uh, I've had a message come through from uh, HGV Matt. He says, spot on about the rain. You don't realise you're getting soaked until it's too late. And Burger King all day, but he can't keep away from stopping at McDonald's for a couple of McFlurries. I know, mate. Gavin's the same. Gav from out and about. He loves his McFlurries and his milkshakes and his Big Macs and his apple pies and his muffins and everything else on the menu. No, I'm only joking, mate. Uh, Gavin said that if he had a chance of going on holiday, it would be America. Really? I don't like Americans. They're too far up themselves, I think. Uh, they like to compete. Very competitive people are the Americans. That's just my opinion. They're all lovely. They really are, if you like that sort of thing. Uh, what else did Gavin say? He said, are you getting a mug? Yes, there will be a Gary's Blog mug. Only one, though. That's for me when I drink my coffee first thing in the morning. Mm. So, uh, whatever you're doing, don't forget to go and subscribe to Gavin Out and About and also HGV Matt. You'll enjoy their videos. Speaking of the cat, he's there, actually in the middle of the kitchen floor, doing his normal wash and lop first thing in the morning, as cats do. It's a bit like us in the bathroom, isn't it? You know, wiping the sleep out of your eye. Mine's permanently in my eye because I never sleep. So, I'm off to Brighton. Have a good day. Please like the video, share, tell your friends, and hopefully we can make this channel work. Ta-ra.